Welcome to the Tone Jerks Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Gower, and with me today, it's a special episode today. We have a bunch of guests here. Who do we have here? I don't know. Who who's, is going here? Who, who, yeah, who's, who's going first? Who's going first? Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Hey, I'm Johnny Ray. Oh. I'm, I'm Johnny Ray. I've been here before. You know Johnny. This is Johnny Two Guns now. I'm like the third, second co-host behind yeah. Kyle. <laughs> this is, yeah. It's four feet. <laughs> yeah. Of, <laughs> unofficial third mic. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have his buddy. What's Bandmate. Up? Hello, people. I am Eric Lucero, one of the guitarists in Modern Love. Yeah. Hi, guys. And then you know him. You love him. Yeah. Kyle McIntyre. Kyle McIntyre. Yeah. All right, so out of my own business. Today we'll, we will get into it. Why you know why I think it's a special episode. It's kind of going to be a fun one, or it's going to be shitty. We will find out. But before we get into that, what is new with everybody? What's new in your world? So let's just go around the room. Johnny, welcome uh, back. What's new with you? Yeah, my my allergies are flaring today from the Santa Ana and all the dust I kicked up from Sick. moving <laughs> mo- moving in a new house today. But it also means that uh, I have a new. His sort of ha- air quotes studio available to me, my my new garage. <laughs> there you go, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be awesome. We you know, know all about garage studios. Yeah, that's gra- right. Here, <laughs> yeah. Tone jerks. You got all your. You posted a picture in the group. You got all your bass heads. <laughs> oh geez, yeah. I counted all my all the guitars, all the uh, necked instruments that I own. And I'm up to seventeen. Oh geez. Yeah, and I'm counting. <laughs> only three of them are guitars. Dang. Yeah. Wait, you have three guitars? Like I do have three guitars. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I have to know now. What are they? Uh, two, re- two really like entry level acoustics and a uh, '60s uh, like Japanese import Strat surf style nice. guitar with the you know the Tesco kind of style. Very cool. Really? I think actually it's a Kawai. Nice. nice. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, anyway. It sounds, oh, dude, it sounds great. It, if you, it really has that. If you run it through a good reverb. It gets that 60s Surfy, surf yeah. style. It nails it. Get yourself yeah. a band master and go dig Dale on the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> going to start a surf no, band. No, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Eric, uh, what about you? Uh, let's see. I just picked up a uh, Intersound IVP preamp, which I've been uh, hunting for for a while. And a uh, buddy of mine, a uh, shout out to Kareem, who's in the Tone Jerks group, uh, for, for uh, pointing that out to me, sending me a text. But uh, it's it's famous for being used by Steve Albini, yeah, in uh, Shellac, and I'm pretty sure Big Black, and it's a big part of that uh, that very fucking clangy direct sound. Uh, but yeah, I've I've actually been using for a uh, little over a year, uh, probably a year and a half or so, a uh, pedal built by John Snyder Electronic Audio Experiments called yeah, the Dude yeah. Incredible, which is basically that. So kind of cool to get the real thing i played through one before but haven't uh, owned one nice are you uh using that in conjunction with your earthquaker amp and like running it in front or are you kind of maybe putting it like gonna do use like a di recording type um it's going to uh definitely be used direct in studio over at uh room and board recordings mm-hmm. and uh if i ever go to earthling uh for depending on what the project what the track needs but uh i've actually been looking around at some power amps for it and there's you know, I could go all, full out King Buzzo and get a pair of, uh, you know, 3,000 watt pa- crown power amps yeah. <laughs> and just really blow out some fucking ears. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's what you need for, for the, yes. the, the next Modern Love gig. Just have I, that going. <laughs> I recommend everyone, if you get a chance, get, you know, those like direct sound, like, or, or the, the ones people on the runway at airlines use. The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, go get a pair of those and stand in front of Buzzo for a full set. And that's. That's the, that's one of the strongest sounds you'll ever hear in life, but uh, I got some plans of of what uh, I'm going to run that through. I'm definitely going to try it through the Earthquaker right through the front, but uh, I'm actually looking at having uh, someone in town build me a power amp for it. Oh, very cool! Yeah, yeah. And then so that'll uh, be fun. Yeah, both of you guys. You guys got oh, what's new? You guys got a gig coming up? Oh yeah. Yes, we do. December 9th at the Bancroft, which is uh, I think it's technically Spring Valley, right? Yeah. 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 Cool yeah, spot. It's out Definitely. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right off the 94. Uh, but yeah, it's with uh, This White Light, which has uh, Greg Anderson, who uh, owns and runs uh, Southern Lord Records and is in uh, uh, Sun, and uh, he was an engine kid way back, and uh, the bass player from uh, Pelican. Pelican, yeah. But it's, yeah, they're, they're a new group, so it's going to be pretty awesome. And uh, Yeah, Justin Pearson has something to do with he's it. He's doing too, like right? some DJ. He's DJing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's funny when uh, when he sends something out about Modern Love, 
all of a sudden I see our Instagram mm-hmm. just blow up. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> yeah. hey, Justin must have uh, tweeted something or Instagram. Yeah, he's something. still like a popular. Is he? Is he oh, still absolutely. doing Retox? Or? Yes, okay. Retox is still yeah. going, and he's also doing Dead Cross, which has uh, Dave Lombardo and Mike Patton in it. Yeah, the guy is busy. <laughs> yes. And Planet B. Yeah. And Planet B, yeah. Yeah, because oh, they're geez, actually yeah. playing next weekend. They just did a song with place. Cool Keith. Yeah, on uh, on uh, November 24th, uh, Vinyl Junkies is celebrating their one-year anniversary on uh, on Black Friday, and that's Saturday, and it's Saturday, uh, Planet B is playing in our driveway. Very cool. Yeah, nice, so nice. come on by and check that out. Bitchin'. All right, Kyle, you got anything for what's new? Yeah, uh, modding some more pedals for some friends. Um, just uh, simple mods, ones I've done before, but they are the killer uh, go-tos, you know, just doing some JCM mods on DS1s. Yeah, you're you know, cranking that out because you did one Polishing some turds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just I'm hitting doing. you up for those. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. So we got that. Um, Battlefield Five dropped. Well, <laughs> so, like the pre, so you, the pre, you, it you hasn't go. actually dropped yet. So, but if you download, if you did the pre-order, you get like a week early. Oh, okay. So, so. I'm playing with Sean, been playing with, uh, you know, some other guys that are actually in the Tone Jerks group too. So. There you go. Do you want to like Sean? let everybody know what yeah. uh, your gamer tag is? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, whatever. Well, maybe later in print. Yeah. yeah there you hit go. me up you if can, you want. Hit them up. Let them know what it is. <laughs> you know, you may type it wrong and add someone. You're like, this guy's <laughs> so, an asshole. This guy's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like just credit like card to verify yeah. your yeah. username, by the way. Yeah. And if you want my social security number, let me know. <laughs> nice. Cool. Yeah. So that's been fun. And then, uh, which what are one you, is Brian? Sean? Are you talking about Sean from Gun Street Wiring? Sean Arbo. There you go. Okay. Sean I'm, Arbo from I'm, Gun Street Wiring. I'm some connecting people. some dots. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Brian? What you got? I finally sold my uh, T Rex bass juice. The like Whoa, the distortion fuck. fuzz deal. It's yeah. not a bad pedal. It's just like I have no use for it. Uh, I got it for free when I bought my like uh, V four B, and like the guy threw in the eight ten because he didn't want it. He lived in like an apartment, mm-hmm. and so like. Wow. He threw that in, and he's like, "Well, I don't need this. Just take this too." I'm like, "Cool." So I sold the 810, <laughs> and then I kept the head, and then I'm like, been sitting on this distortion like box, and I like I gave it to Johnny, and like, "Oh, do you want to try it?" And Johnny's like, "Yeah, here's it back." <laughs> <laughs> well, but I told you it was yeah. it, it was good as a like a it was good as a pre like sort a boost, of boost. Kinda, yeah. yeah, it it was good to beef up other overdrive fuzz distortion pedals so yeah i feel like like a like a first stage gain sort of yeah 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 Yeah, right but but if you tried to get the dirt out of it it was not it was it was only okay for that yeah i think i've had it up for sale since like (laughs) may (laughs) has not moved i've had like like maybe 10 people watching it and then just no fucking movement in it i kept lowering it lowering it i'm like and i'm you know it's not like i'm hurting i'm like oh i've sold it for 65 bucks so it's That's not bad. like it's not like, i'm like whatever it's like i have no use for it because i'm like if i wanted like a good bass drive pedal it's like the westwood from earthquaker yeah. is a really good one love that thing. um you know the sands amp obviously the, if you wanted to dirty up an amp and then like actually the half horse from pelican noise works is really good co yeah. uh, schneider uses that a lot and i'm like oh it's cool so i'm like i don't really need this t-rex thing and i got it for free if i can just get move it to somebody who's gonna use it because i'm like it has not been used Except when Johnny used it. That was yeah. like, <laughs> when I was trying to push it on For him. like half an hour. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, just yeah. take it, damn it. Just uh, take it. Give me, <laughs> just die. I'll it. give you 20 bucks. To to get rid of it. So it was the fruitcake of petals just passed around. No <laughs> yeah. one wanted it. Yeah, but yeah. somebody somebody hit me up and I'm like, they hit me like a reverb offer and I'm like, sold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not even looking at what the deal is. I'll just fucking just take you it. You want it, just fucking get it out of my sight. So I, I'm glad I'm like, that was my latest, like, just get rid of this thing. And then I bought uh, some. Let's see, uh, Dual Lock 3M for some of my pedals to step it up yeah. a little bit in my Velcro game. <laughs> yeah, nice. That, I, I'm pretty sure that's what I've been using for the longest. That shit, yep. like, really sticks. I'm like, oh, yeah, let me just, like, oh, it's, I kind of covered most of my pedal with it. And I was like, oh, let me just, like, test it out. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of cool when you're finally done with your pedal board on it and you turn it upside down for the moment of truth. Like, whoa, it fucking works. But yeah. I you get a from... karate master to try and kick through it, and, <laughs> yeah. they, and they hurt their leg. <laughs> yes, Sign take this that, waiver. Bruce Lee. Sensei has been defeated. <laughs> yeah, because I <laughs> <You win. laughs> ordered that from Amazon, got it in like a day, and I'm like, oh, sweet. 
And I was like, they're like, oh, if you sign up for Amazon Prime, you can get it next day. I'm like, oh, I kind of did get it next day and I didn't have to, I paid for any shipping or any of that shit. So to me, that's kind of gotcha. cool. That part is a little yeah. bit boring, but I'm excited just to get rid of that fucking pedal. To me, I'm like, it's not a huge piece of thing, but I'm like, I never, ever fucking use it. It just takes up space. And every time I like have like the rest of my pedals, I'm looking for the one that I want. And I see that. I'm like, you just, oh, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> but somebody's going to have it and they're going to love it or they'll, they won't and they'll put it right back on reverb or someone will mod they the hell out of it. What was their turn policy? Cool it. I think it's <laughs> seven days. Oh, so yeah, hopefully, uh, he doesn't want to <laughs> send it back. Maybe I'll <laughs> jinx myself, but I guess that's kind of it for the, what, what's news. Yeah. I brought you all together today. Uh, you guys obliged. I wanted Dude, to do a quiz. <laughs> this is, uh, something that the guitar nerds podcast has done and they haven't done it recently, but, you know, it's if everybody says like that's a ripoff of guitar nerds. Yes, it's hundred percent ripoff of guitar nerds. They do a, a quiz. They started doing them like every twenty five episodes. They stopped doing it. They uh, yada yada. Some guy left. I was listening to one of their episodes. I'm like, you know what? Like older episodes. I'm like, it'd be really cool to do a quiz. So I asked some friends. I'm like, do you think it'd be a shitty move to do a quiz because the guitar nerds already done it? And everybody says like, no, fuck it. Who cares? Just, fucking just do it. <laughs> and the cats are away. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and, yeah. and I'm like, what are the odds they're going to listen to it? And if they do, then I'm like, I'm sorry. It's a good idea. So it's like you know. uh it's the sincerest form of flattery, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, sh- sh- shout out to them. They had a cool idea, so I wanted to keep that going. So, uh, this is, you know, I'm not like ripping off their questions or anything like that. This is the uh, Tone Jerks quiz. So, the way it goes, it's like uh, I'm just going to do like maybe one point for getting each of these correct. There's, I think, seven rounds, and each one of them is kind of different, different kind of categories, different kind of questions. So, Jesus. all right. How many questions <laughs> per round? Uh, each of them depends. Some rounds, it's like one question per each of you. Oh, Eric's going to win. In, Do I have to show intense? my work? No. Yes. No, okay. there's no, no pen no and paper. No calculators, please. No pen and paper, Damn. Kyle. No cheating. Eric is going to win. That's all you can cheat. I just got to say, <laughs> God, I'm predicting this. If anybody's taking bets, you know, I... I got my Mickey's cap. It's going to tell me all, going. everything I need to know. Yeah. I, so if you guys, is, if you guys oh, win, the, the winner gets to have... Um, a date with Brian Gower. Yeah, a half drink in Miller Lite. <laughs> <laughs> and the losers get a half drink in Miller Lite. Boom, there's the stakes, baby. But is warm. Yeah, <laughs> no, they're all they're all flat. they're all cold because of that yeti cooler you got. All backwash. Yeah, all backwash. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ooh, God. Lovely. All right, mm-hmm. let's just get jump into it. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. There's not yeah. you guys can really prepare Hopefully, at all. Are, yeah. we, are we like uh, raising hand or? No, we're just gonna go in this order because okay. Johnny, Eric, Kyle, and we're gonna keep going. Hey, okay. that's a. I think we we're going in age, age and beauty on that one. <laughs> I'm middle of the road. Yes, <laughs> I'll take it. Kyle's youngest and ugliest. Oh, <laughs> you don't know with my beard. <laughs> no, we don't. Nobody knows. Facebook photos. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> oh God. You you were, you were right. <laughs> you lose. You win. Okay. So this uh, round is round number one. It's the numbers game. It's a very boss and MXR heavy round. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> this first part, I will give you the boss pedal name, and you got to tell me the corresponding boss pedal number mm. i.e. the boss distortion is a boss ds1 that would be a correct answer you guys ready but mm-hmm. there's multiple distortions <laughs> well uh there's mega distortions there's stuff like that but the boss ds1 is okay. a distortion so i w- won't do anything too tricky but there are some of these johnny you hit it on the head just keep an eye out oh. so Ooh. the first one this uh pretty easy i'm still gonna the first lose. first first batch here the boss blues driver johnny what am I supposed to do? What is the name of it? <laughs> oh, it's the BD1. Wrong. It's BD2. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Close. BD So number. we're not doing pass to go to the next? No. Nope. No. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know. Could we? What? You, you nah, fuck it. it. Wait, I ruined that first one. So, oh, okay. uh, Eric, the yeah. boss tremolo. Uh, boss TR2. You get a point. I you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> These are just random questions. I didn't plan it t- this way. That TR2 is good when it's modded. Yeah. For that mo- for the volume drop mod. Unless Kyle that, mods unless it. Unless I do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you screwed it up? I, I like. I can't find the right <laughs> resistor to put yeah. in there. It's like uh, too high, too low. Yeah. It's like uh, going to blow up the amp. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle. The Boss Hyper Fuzz. Come on, Mr. Boss Man. <laughs> FZ three, <laughs> no, I'm close. Know. FZ two. Oh. Actually, no, because it isn't the FZ three also hyper fuzz. It's a different kind of fuzz. Oh. Don't give away too much, Johnny, because it might be up oh, in the next man. one. Right. Side note: Why the hell hasn't anyone done a real good clone of that? Discuss. Well, it's basically Email me a super back. fuzz. It's basically a super fuzz anyway. 
Yeah, true. So, yeah, there are good clones out there. Never Behringer mind, makes then. a good clo- uh, good super fuzz. Uli Behringer, of course he cloned it. Behringer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, Johnny. You alluded to this one before. The mm. boss overdrive slash distortion. Uh, OD1. <laughs> 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 no, that is the overdrive. Oh. It is the OS2. OS2. Yeah, Damn. hey, I got it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> Just edit By that the in. Powers yeah. of editing. So, Dang. Uh, kind of a newer one, Eric. Oh, two. The, the Boss Power Stack. Ooh. Boss PS3. It is the ST2. Damn. Oh, the PS3 is great. Like, I love that game. <laughs> yeah, like Sony. Yeah. <laughs> the PS4 is better, though. The PS4 Pro or whatever. <laughs> Kyle. Damn it. The Boss Multi Overdrive. OD1X? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably MO. Yeah, that's probably. <laughs> it is the, yep, MO2. Why? Did any of them start with one anymore? Or did they can the ones in the 70s? Well, we'll, uh, we, we'll I'm get to it. Away. What it's, the fuck is my problem? <laughs> You're showing your cards, Johnny. Yeah, well, by getting everything wrong. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, Johnny, the boss, super feedbacker, and distortion. Uh, I don't know. SD7. <laughs> SD1? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is the DF2. DF? Digital the feedback, fuck? I guess. Just yeah, the feedback? fuck? Yeah, the fuck? right. Distor- <laughs> the fuck Spelled distortion F-U-Q. feedback? Jesus God, Christ. Really? All right, Eric. These are all guitar pedals. I don't think this is fair because I don't really play guitar. <laughs> You're Quiz a boss written nerd. by a guitar player. <laughs> yeah. All right. The yeah. uh, Eric, the boss digital metalizer. <laughs> Dig- <Shit. laughs> digital metalizer? Yep. DM2. It is the MZ2. <laughs> what the DM2. fuck? <laughs> That's a, a delay. MZ, delay. like metal yeah. sound? Oh, shit, you're right, yeah. Oh, right, the D- yeah, DM2. Uh, Kyle, the Boss JHS Collaboration Angry Driver. Oh, boy. Is it AD2? Nope. Oh, it is the JB2. God. Damn it. Oh, man. <laughs> God. <laughs> Maybe I mean these two are. What does JB stand for? <laughs> JHS Boss. Oh, duh. I knew that, too. <laughs> and that's Gosh, the Angry God. Charlie, right? All right, this is the last go-around for this part. God, I suck. Johnny. <laughs> The boss power supply and master switch. PS1. <laughs> Close. You, PS- PSM1. <laughs> Closer. <laughs> PSM5. Five. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn it, Brian. These weren't fun. <laughs> oh. Hopefully, a, next round will be better. For another me. one. The boss, Eric. Hmm? The boss tremolo pan. Ooh. Tremolo slash pan. <laughs> Please tell me it's the boss TP2. No. It's the PN2. Damn yeah. it. Oh, man, I love that pedal. <laughs> Kyle, last one. Damn it. It's a chance to catch up with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> He's leading the pack at one point. <laughs> <laughs> the Boss Extortion. Signature pedal for Christina Aguilera. <laughs> Is it really? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you would have had me fooled. Dang it. Um, the DX1 or something? <laughs> Nope, XT two. XT two. All right, maybe that was a little hard. DX. This one, this boss dicks. <laughs> yeah. This Jesus. one is. I want the DMX two. This one is yeah. even harder, I think. So now the MXR part of it. Okay. I will give you the MXR pedal number, and you got to tell me which MXR pedal it corresponds with. Oh boy! For example, the M one oh one. Hey, the... hey! No looking over there. <laughs> <laughs> we got some pedals over there. For example, the M one oh one is the Phase ninety. So Johnny. Oh. The uh. M one six nine. One six nine. Let's say that is let's say that is the um the red one. Is that the red one, Kyle? Uh what did you say? One six nine? Yeah. <laughs> let's let's request. call let's call it the the uh the uh, I wanna s- fuck is it called just say something <laughs> i know i'm trying but the words are not do, coming do, out of my do, face do, 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 it's do. the overdrive red guy no it is the carbon copy analog delay the see that's why you just let it go 169 is an- is the carbon copy is <laughs> yes, 169 yes. Mm-hmm. now eric oh shit yeah. m117r m117r talk box it is the mxr flanger <laughs> Damn. Holy shit. <laughs> Kyle, These are hard. The M104. 
Oh, Ooh, I think I know this one. Since we're not getting any points, we will pass them around. All right. Um, Want to get some points on the board, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Let's say the uh, badass custom badass distortion. No, Johnny. Oh no, I forgot. Our OD fuzz. I think. No, I was gonna say. Eric. Uh, base course. The distortion plus. Oh, oh god damn it! I'm disappointed myself on that one. Okay. Oh gosh. Johnny, the M103. M103 is a reverb. No. Oh. Eric. Studio comp. No, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> the. One oh eight fuzz. Is that, fuzz? But is the one oh eight actually one oh eight? That is no. not it. It is the MXR blue box. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Fuck. I should've, I should've studied up on this. Holy balls. I didn't yeah. know what the subjects were though. Okay. <laughs> Eric. Wow. Yep. The M one one six. The M one one six. Distortion three? No. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. The analog chorus. No, Johnny. Damn it. The 69 overdrive thing. No, it is the full bore metal. Oh, yeah. Holy Who, shit. That's a garbage Who plays metal. that one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kyle, Man. the M83. That band? Or? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Just M83? M83. What is that? Dang. Um, Sugar Drive. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you Damn may have you may have a leg that. up on this one. M eighty three. M eighty three. Oh, is that one of those uh, the base blowtorch ones? No. Ah, Eric. Base di distortion. Fuck. No, no. that's the M eighty three. It's the base chorus deluxe. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! I named that one earlier, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the last one. Last one. Jesus. This is probably one of the hardest ones. I don't own this, that. This, M83, just by this the round, way. the numbers and stuff like that. So, Johnny M one three five. M one three five. Let's say it's a reverb. Wrong. Oh well. <laughs> Eric. Um. <laughs> You're like looking <laughs> at my board. <laughs> it's, it's really tough. Zach Wild distortion. <laughs> no. Kyle. What was the number again? M one three five. If I say it, it's not like it's gonna give it away. <laughs> no, right. I know, but I just can't remember what the number. Is. Um. It's say not... analog course again. <laughs> <laughs> it is the MXR Smart Gate. Oh. Oh, Eric. Jesus, I even own that one. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, they're, they're not printed on the front. They're on the box. Yeah. Oh, God. Eric, now we have the M264. The M264? Yeah. Uh, what does that conjure up? Uh, uh, Sub-octave. <laughs> Wrong, Kyle. Damn. Um, I'm trying to think of the pedals you've already said. <laughs> like, oh, man. Um. Say the base envelope again. Wrong. Johnny. What is it? M264? Yes. Let's go with <laughs> the way huge ringworm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even the right brand. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get it. All right. It is the MXR FET driver. Jesus. If this were Jeopardy, I would be way negative. It'd, it'd just be negative. <laughs> okay, Kyle. One last one. The M173. I will. No, no hints. You may as well. No. There's one that has been mentioned already that wasn't correct. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's one that you do own. <laughs> You're like, that doesn't narrow it down. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I, is it one I've said already? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Analog course. Wrong. <laughs> oh, Johnny. Three reverb. times. I, I thought I was going to. I got to say reverb a third time. Okay, wrong. Yeah. Eric. I, I I'm going to go the with the base one. DI distortion. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's the 108 fuzz. Oh, oh. it should okay. be 108, the number. It's right. I don't, yeah. I don't it, understand it their... what they're using inside it, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so, so end so. of round number one. Uh, Johnny has zero points. Eric has one point. Kyle has zero points. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We can steal this. <laughs> it's anybody's game. Anybody's Folks. game. Jesus. Okay, so now this is uh, round number two, the bound to repeat it, the history round. So I will go in order. Oh, Johnny, this one actually works out for you, Mr. PV Guy. Mr. PV Guy doesn't mean I know anything. So, Johnny, the PV. 5150 was an amp made for famous shredder Eddie Van Halen. When he left, he took the name 5150. PV then changed the amp 
to the 6505. When was the last PV 5150 released? 84. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Seven. Wrong. I guess, do we want to pass it around? Yes. <laughs> We're going to just be naming a bunch of numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Unless Eric knows it. 1994. Wrong. Damn. 2003. Close. Kyle. 2004 was the last year. Oh, holy bonus crap. Like bonus years. question. Do I get that one? No. <laughs> bonus question here. Uh, we'll throw, it, throw it like Price is Right. Throw it to Johnny. But you were over. No, you were under. So you would get <laughs> yeah. that showcase showdown. <laughs> bonus question here. What is the significance of the name 6505? Oh, I, I don't actually know. No Eric. idea. Hmm. Power amp tubes? Kyle. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> PV started in 1965, and the amp came out in 2005. Oh, wow. Uh, that's damn. really reaching. I'm yeah. going to remember all this stuff for next time, though. You should just ask these questions <laughs> next time. For the yeah. next episode. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just right. don't actually release this. Let's just record it right now. Now, here we go. Eric, <laughs> yeah. what year was the iconic Marshall 1960 cabinet released? 1966. Kyle. I'm going to go with 69, dude. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> oh, man. I know you just said it was wrong, but I'm going to have to go with 69, <laughs> dudes. I would say 1960 if it was called the 1960 cab. Nope, that's the throw around. It is 1964. Jesus. Bonus question to Eric. Uh, what damn. year was the famous 100-watt Plexi 1959 introduced? 1967. Kyle. Damn. Same question. Uh, I want to say 65, dude. Yes, Kyle, you get a point. <laughs> Whoa, you guys are nerds. 65. One point each? Gosh. <laughs> now, Kyle. Two rounds into seven? Damn. <laughs> Kyle McIntyre. Mesa Boogie released the Dual Rectifier 1992, and it changed modern guitar tones forever. Adapted by bands like Blink-22, Foo Fighters, Korn, Playing Without a Pilot, and more. <laughs> 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 when oh, did, did the dual rectifier change from two channels to three? Uh, I want to say 04. Johnny. It's probably pretty close to then. Uh, let's put it at 99. Getting warmer. Uh, Eric. 95. 2000. Y2K, Ooh. baby. Bonus question time. So, Kyle. Name three other variations of the Mesa Rectifier series besides the Dual. Stiletto. <laughs> Wrong, Johnny. <laughs> name three other. Three. <laughs> I can only <laughs> name one. Triple Rec. Okay, you got one. Where's the other? I don't know. Uh, single Rec. <laughs> yes. One more. Oh, you Quadruple just name... Rec. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will give you a point for that. Woo! I'm looking at triple, single, roadster, road king, recording, mini, tremo verb, and rectifier. No, I don't want a point for that. No, I don't you get want a, you, pity you, points. No, you get a point. You, you get, get one, bitch. Yeah, ah, I, I may, have, like may have made these questions a little too hard. <laughs> All right. I get so two-thirds of a point. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to knock, <laughs> knock myself down. <laughs> well, if you win I'm by two. I'm not worthy. Yeah. You, you Coming win. in at 2.66 points <laughs> <laughs> with a bar over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Repeated. <laughs> Okay, now Johnny. Oh man! What year did Fender change the Stratocaster from the three-way switch to the more modern five-way switch? Seventy-three. Close, <laughs> but Eric, what do you got? Sixty-five. Further away, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Seventy-five. Closest, seventy-seven. Oh man! Damn. That was a good year. CBS years. Mm -hmm. Eric. Mm -hmm. Popular among guitarists such as Eddie Van Halen, Steve Vai, and Neil Sean from Journey. At the time of its release, what year did the Floyd Rose vibrato make its debut? 1976. I will give you that. It was invented in 76, but it actually came out in 77, so I will okay, give you that point. Too. All right. Get on technical. You need to get a chance on that it. one, Kyle. Kyle, this is a... One for you. What year? <laughs> what year were active guitar pickups introduced? So I will give you a hint. It's in the name of a famous pickup from a famous active pickup manufacturer. Fishman. 
<laughs> so the year was Fishman. Okay, Johnny Ray. What what do we got? What did you say? It's a famous what manufacturer. Ye- what, what year? That just throws me off. Well, then t- throw away. I'll ask the question again. What year were active guitar pickups introduced? Sixty nine, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. Uh, I'm gonna go with seventy five. 1981. Damn. EMG 81, mm, 85. Yeah, so popular. Uh, hey, that's the year I was born. All right. Cool, I get a free t- point. No, you know what, Johnny? This is a good I, one for you. I did not plan this. Oh, wait. Was, yeah. It's think, Eric's I was, turn. I just think, no, uh, turn. I'll have to look at this later. I think Fent- or Music Man may have had active stuff in the Sabres mm-hmm. before that, but I might be wrong. Anyways, back to quiz. Fuck, nerd. <laughs> nerd pound of time. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a swirly. Why, why think the is on 75? Johnny. Is it my turn? Travis Bean and Gary Kramer started the Travis Bean Ooh. Guitar Company. Then the two quickly parted ra- ways as Bean lost interest in the venture. Kramer then founded the company that still bears his name. Improving on the Bean design, when did the Kramer Company make its debut? 78. Oh, it's probably 79. Probably 77. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it's re- dude, it's, it's right a battleship, in there. dude. It's right in there. <laughs> All right, Eric. Eric's turn. It's pretty, Johnny is pretty close. Uh, 1975. Kyle. 74. <laughs> That's too early. You guys skipped over 76. 76. Dang. I knew it was in there. It's close. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. I barely know what the fuck MIDI is, but it stands for Music Instrument Digital Interface. Mm-hmm. What year was MIDI introduced? 84. Close. Kyle. <laughs> 82. Johnny. The year of my birth. The year of our Lord, 1981. Skipping past it. It was 83. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> hey, my brother was born then. I should get a point. Yeah. <laughs> I, should give you, uh, I, I can give you a third of a my, point. Uh, my no. uh, third cousin was born. Yeah. <laughs> like that has anything to do with it? Okay, Kyle, last question of this history round. Wow. The iconic Vox AC30 was introduced as the big brother to the flagship at the time, AC15, in what year? 71. 63. Getting closer. 65. 1959. Woo! <laughs> oh. Earlier than I thought. Shit. Well, I know the Beatles played the AC30s. That's why I was going that early. But they're gosh, all dead. Dang they're all dead it. now. Move okay. on. Okay. <laughs> no, they're not. So they we ended, uh, get, two of them alive. Got some more points Depends, on believe. the board here. Yeah, one of them might be dead. Ending uh, round two, we have Johnny with two thirds of a point. <laughs> <laughs> Changing the rules, bitches. <laughs> Eric with two points and Kyle with a point. Yes. Whoa, Woo. I dude, I called it. Eric is. Fucking he's, a, he's miles ahead of <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah. One point is leagues beyond. All you need is one point three. <laughs> now, Johnny, <laughs> four points. <laughs> Question. One of your right answers is going to have to be like a fraction. Yeah, yeah you got to make it all. If you get a half, another half point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this round, Johnny, you may have a leg up on this one from uh-uh. uh, the guitar that you found at your house. This round is called, you know, round number three is does it play or is it anime? So I will give you a <laughs> Japanese Jesus. name. Jesus Christ. It will either be a Japanese guitar or, or amplifier uh, manufacturer mm-hmm. or the name of an anime character. You will have to choose either <laughs> guitar or anime. <laughs> <laughs> now this one, you have a 50-50 shot. So for example, if I say Yamaha, it's a guitar company. Mm-hmm. If I say Goku, it's an anime character. So now let's go. Is it guitar or is it anime? Johnny Uh-oh. Ray. Matsumoku. Matsumoku is a factory that made a bunch of guitars in mm. Japan. Johnny Ray with a point, baby! Yeah. And actually, Woo. if you can find things made at the Matsumoku factory, they're almost always pretty damn good. There you go. Damn right they are. Yeah. Yep. That was, a fuck, that was a ringer question right there. 1951 <laughs> is when they started. <laughs> on, they went all the, the way board. to 1987. Even though he got that completely right, is that your one-third of a point right there? <laughs> and I was yeah, all, yeah. He's got a whole I'm point. I'm on the oh, board. Just checking. I'm beating Kyle now. Yeah. <laughs> so now Johnny's back in the race. Now Eric... <laughs> Hasegawa. Anime character. You have that right. Oh, my God. Kodaka from Haganai. Oh, no. Now, Kyle. Yes. Tainaka. Fuck. I think I'm going to say guitar. (laughs) Wrong. It is an anime character, Ritsu from Kaon. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, I should watch that show. Bum, bum, not. Bum, bum, bum. Why don't we bum, have bum, the bum. Price is Right noises going? <laughs> Johnny, just Brian wanted to bring up the body noise today. going the entire yeah. time. <laughs> All right, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Takai. Tokai. Oh, T O K I? T O K A I? Yes. That's a guitar company. Yes, Johnny Ray has got that right. Yeah. I believe they're still current. Yeah, Whatever. you can yeah. still find yeah. that stuff out there. Yeah. Now, Eric, Goyatone. Uh, that is a guitar company. You are correct. Yeah, and if you can find those pedals, good pedals, good guitars, yeah. good basses. Very yeah. good basses. If you can find that stuff, mm-hmm. buy it up. Good stuff. Now, Kyle. Buy it for us, you mean, not yourself. Yeah. Tell me about it so I can buy it. <laughs> Rion Tone. <laughs> this, is a fa- this is a lead on. It's got to be. <laughs> it's got to be an anime character. <laughs> yes, you are correct. Oh, yeah. I did throw that out there. It is a you vocal that you're like, name, oh, this would trip him up. Name of a Vocaloid idol, much like Hatsune Miku. So, uh, back to Johnny. Okay. Fuji Gen. <laughs> Fuji Gen, that's more guitar stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you got to throw some anime ones at him. Yeah. Stop going in order. <laughs> <laughs> it's all random. It's all random. Uh, Eric. Nishkino. Nishkino? Yeah. Anime. You are correct. Oh, I've never heard of that, so yeah. Uh, now, Kyle. Daimaru. It's got to be more anime. Is a guitar company. Fuck. What? I bet it's an anime character, too. Come on. <laughs> I, I bet Both it is. could be true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do they sell? Uh, Nothing anymore. <laughs> it, it was a 1960s brand. It's very similar look of silver tones. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, so, Johnny. <clears throat> yeah. Shinozaki. What is it? Shinozaki. Can you spell it? S H I N O Z A K I. Anime. You are right. It is. Uh, <laughs> 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 fucking anime. Ria or uh, Rika from uh, SAO. I'm kind of so. cheating, too. I did take some Japanese in college. I don't think that really helps anybody here. No. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> whatever you got to tell yourself, Johnny. Right. Um, let's see. I was trying where... to help them out, make them feel better <laughs> that I am fucking acing this round. <laughs> this is Johnny's getting points back. So, Eric, Hayashi. Anime. Is a guitar company from the 1960s to the 1970s. It's, they were bought out by Pearl Instruments. Yes, Damn. the drum company bought them out. Woo-hoo. All right. Kyle, Ichigo. It's an anime. You are correct. <laughs> uh, let's see. Back to Johnny. These are the last three. So, uh, Kasuga. K A S U G A. You are right. Anime. No. Bah! First time. It's an acoustic brand company from the 1930s or founded in 1930s. 1930s? Jesus. We well, got a top like this. Then. <laughs> how, how, you guys got to do your your antiquities voices, though. Hello. Yeah, your radio Hello, voices. 1930s. <laughs> yeah. Going in. This one's from the 1930s in Japan. <laughs> All right. Eric. Takami. Miss, 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 miss. It is an anime character yes! uh, Damn from it. <laughs> Love Live Sunshine. Ooh, that's All your right. favorite. That's Brian's favorite. It's one of the favorites. Uh, okay, Kyle, last one. Tahara. Guitar. You are correct. They made Ooh. acoustics and mandolins in the 1970s. Sounded like a guitar company. Did we all just tie it up or something? No. Well, we have one more here. Ooh. Oh. So this is a bonus question to everybody. So here's the... Uh, how do we, if you, do we if you, ring in or what? If you, let me finish first. So if, if you answer throw this one, at Brian you, and see which if one you answer first. this one correctly, you will be rewarded three points. But if you answer it wrong, you will be deducted five points. Oh, <laughs> do, do, do any of us have five? To you will deduct? go negative. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say it and raise your hand. I guess. So, Umi, Kyle, anime. Uh, either one wins because it's an anime character <laughs> and it's a wah pedal that came out in 1968. Oh, shit. Oh, the Umiwa. <laughs> <laughs> I may have heard where's of that, it. Where's that put me now? I did not you stand You are way ahead. Yeah. At seven points, Eric is at five and Johnny is at four. And two thirds. Two thirds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Round number four. This is the, uh, I call it the Mary Ann round. This is just the rest. These are random questions that I threw all together. None of them are really going together. Great. All right. Okay. So, Johnny, excluding uh-huh. the parallel, one more time, 
Excluding the parallel universe, custom shop, and FSR models, what are uh, the four current series of American Fender guitars? Oh. Professional? No, that's Mexican. You had it. Oh. Uh, you got one? Professional series. American Standard. Japanese made. <laughs> <laughs> the ones from Indonesia and the Korean ones. How about... Uh, I don't it know. It is the American Special, American Elite, American Professional, and American Original. Oh, God. I okay. don't own any of those. Okay. How about uh, Eric? Yep. Are you familiar with uh, Strymon? Yep. The Big Sky. Mm-hmm. Can you name six of the 12 reverb types on the Strymon Big Sky? Six of the 12. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh, see. my God. Hull, plate, modulated, shimmer, re- I'll give you one more chance. Uh, modulated was not on there. Wait, so I've okay, so I've only gotten three then. Yes. Okay. Let's say hull plate shimmer reverse infinite. Reverse is not one. Infinite is not one. All right, Kyle. Gated. <laughs> duck, about uh, ducking. <laughs> <laughs> ducking. Ducking reverb. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's see where are we at. Yeah, I'm just going to give you the... So we have room, we have hall, we have plate, we have spring, we have swell, we have bloom, cloud, coral. We have... Uh, or the, a lot of basic ones in there. Shimmer, Shit. magneto, <laughs> nonlinear, and reflections. I prefer Cyclops reverb myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kyle, name three of the uh, Line 6 Helix iterations. Shit. Stomp. Yes, <laughs> yep. The floor. Yes. And the rack. Yes, there you go, Kyle. Whoa. You get, you get a crap. point. I Dang. just made those up. All right. <laughs> that's, like, that's like three points there. I get one point. Oh, Johnny, man. so uh, for a nine-string guitar tuned in standard, what would the lowest ninth string be tuned to? I'm not talking about drop tuning, just uh, conventionally, what would it be tuned to? The lowest of a ninth? Yep. Oh, man, you're going to make me do some math in my head. Some number math. Do- you're just going. Uh, I don't know. What is it? A G or something? Uh, we can pass this around, Eric. F sharp. Kyle. Nine. So I'm gonna go B. It is a C sharp. <laughs> oh. F sharp would have been for eight. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Gosh. <laughs> People tuned that low, I guess. Who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. First of all. You're talking to three dudes who would never do that. Yeah, we're not idiots, Brian. <laughs> All right. Eric, I will name... Uh, I do math before I do that. I will name some notes and you give me what scale it is. Oh, shit. G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp. Wait, name what key it is? Yeah. Wait, can you repeat that again? <laughs> G Wrong sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp. Key of D. Kyle. B. Johnny. The key of Q. <laughs> it is E major. <laughs> oh. Damn. That's like my favorite one. I don't know what I'm playing. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Oh, oh this Learn one's... theory, then forget about Where it. Where you will uh, yeah. move along to Kyle. Popular among slide players is the open tuning of their guitars. What will you tune your guitar to when you play your guitar in open G? What is the open G tuning? It's the Rolling Stones t- tuning. Well, name me what you would tune your guitar to. I didn't say that. Johnny said that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Man, these questions are really hard. I'm feeling dumb. Um, I always feel dumb. Well, you gained a lot of points on that anime one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Build you back I up. I just have to pass. I don't know. All right, I don't know Johnny. Shit. What it, you said? What is open G tuning? Open G tuning is the Rolling Stones tuning. What do you oh, need yeah, to you know win. beyond that? <laughs> what do you tune your guitar to? I don't play guitar, so I don't fucking tune it, man. <laughs> All right, Eric. Well, when you do slide bass, what do you do? G, B, D. Uh, leave that G open, and that is uh, D and G. It is, uh, well, you got the notes right, but not in the right order. It goes D, G, D, G, B, D. Ah, damn. All right. So that's uh, negative eight points, idiot. right? Oh, you guys are like, I'll be ne- the fifth on that ne- one. You <laughs> just totally screwed it up. <laughs> all, all pissed off. <laughs> all right, Johnny. 
It's a base question for you. Oh, I cool. did not plan this. So then I really look stupid <laughs> when I get it wrong. So the Ampeg SVT3 Pro 450 watt tube hybrid base amp has a lot of cool features. It has you know preamp tubes. It has you know power driver or has driver tubes, tuner out, graphic EQ, and shit like that. With that being said, how many bands are on that graphic EQ? How many bands yep. are on the graphic EQ? Is it five, seven, more, less? Uh, I don't know. I want to say it has a 10-band EQ. I've never played one. Close. Eric? Nine-band. Yes, Eric, you get Ooh. a point. Yay. Boo. I just have open, open mind over there. What's Back that? There. Oh, you have one over there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've never played one. Eric, Good. which Bastards. one of these is not a style of Ernie Ball slinky string? Which one of these is not one? Hybrid, power, super, beefy, extra, very, not even, and regular. Very. You are correct. Oh, I was going to say the beef curtains one. <laughs> <laughs> what gauge you play, beef curtain? I'm beefy. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. I'm all over that fretboard. So wibbly wobbly. S- slagging them heavy, you know. <laughs> all right. So, Kyle. Orange popularized the portable lunchbox amp craze with the introduction of the Tiny Terror in 2006. The idea that an amp could fit on about the size of a piece of printer paper was crazy at the time, back when Marshalls and Mesas and Big S amps were the craze. Now, I want you to name three other Orange Terror amp iterations besides the original Tiny Terror. No. No. <laughs> can name one. Huh? I can't even think of one. All right, Johnny. I can name two: Dark Terror and Aww. Bass Terror. Okay, can you give me one more? No, I don't. Your know Mom Terror. Do. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mother Terror. All right, Eric. Terror Reed. <laughs> Wait, uh, including <laughs> from American Pie. <laughs> Micro Terror, Dark Terror, Dual Terror. You got it. Oh, right. there you go. So we have dual, dual Terror, Dark Terror, mm. Jim Root, Bass Terror, Micro Terror, Micro Dark, Shiny Hand Wired, uh, the Rocker Fifteen, and the Brent Hines. Oh, man. Jim Root, that's the brother of Steven Root. Okay, Johnny. (laughs) He's Milton from Office Space. Excuse me, that's my stapler. So, Johnny, the Ashdown Engineering are a cool brand that are known for having UV meters in their amplifiers and blue speakers in some of their ABM bass cabs. You know, as in the diaphragms are blue. What colored speakers can be found in some Mark Bass cabinets? Mark Bass? Mark Bass. Oh, those are yellow. Johnny gets a point. So I think we're getting a little I'm easier. Colorblind. This isn't fair. Well, that <laughs> everything kidding. is yellow. Everything is yellow on Mark Base. So yeah. I didn't even know the yeah. real answer. I just yeah. knew everything's yellow. Yellow and yeah. dumb looking. Yellow and big. Like their pedals are huge. And their amps are small. Yeah, their amps are yeah. tiny. Weird. Idiots. Anyways, <laughs> Eric. The question moves on to you. They're an Italian Traditionally, company, right? Yes, yeah. they yeah, are. That's why we can call them idiots. They're all stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't Everybody's know why. stupid. That a racial remark. Let's go to the next <laughs> <Yeah>. question. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> let's that's right. Get, this round is called "Let's Get Races." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Eric. We had to bring the jerks into the uh, jerks. Traditionally, what color are the Dunlop .50 millimeter picks? I'm not talking about the pitch black or the white ones. Traditionally, what color are they? The point zero fives? Point five zero. Oh, point five zero. Uh, red. Yes, Eric. Oh, point. Gosh darn it! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. So, <laughs> Kyle, what? Um, the Marshall twenty five hundred is also known as what amplifier? The two thousand five hundred. Yes, what is it known as? <laughs> what is it? Oh, in it's Roman an amplifier numerals? you are familiar with. The 800? <laughs> I don't know. Johnny. Uh, let's say it is the Plexi. Eric. The DSL. JCM 900 Mark III, 50 watt. What? Uh, the one that I own. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Wah, wah. Is that the dual reverb? Uh, no, it actually doesn't have a reverb. Oh. Uh, let's oh, see. Thank God. Johnny, we are on to our last questions of this round. <laughs> oh, gosh. These are true or false questions. So, uh, Johnny, the Celestion Vintage 30 V30 speakers are rated at 30 watts. False. 
You are correct. They're rated at 60 watts. Yes. That's a 50-50 <laughs> there. No. I guess you're right. <laughs> that's the definition, true or no. false. Yep. <laughs> Eric. Yeah, usually. Yeah. The latest uh, <laughs> spring reverb from Wampler, the Mini Faux spring reverb, can be run at 18 volts. True. Yes, for more headroom or something. <laughs> <laughs> more reverb. Yeah. yeah. More, more faux reverb. reverb. Now, Kyle, the Marshall JTM 45 has a 30 watt output. True or false? I'm going to say true. You are correct. <laughs> true it's that false one. advertising. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So if, if the, are we still passing the true and false around? Nope. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just goes false on it. False. It's the same thing. What did he say? Damn I'll say false it. as well. <laughs> false times three? Yeah. <laughs> did that make it true? All right. Let's... Two wrongs make it right. Let's three go. falses make it true. <laughs> okay. So this is round number five. It's called My Signature Move. I will name an artist and you tell me the brand um, that is most associated with their signature model of guitar, pedal, and or amp. So some like of these have three. some of them have multiple answers. You just got to okay. give me one. Oh, Johnny, uh, Angus Young. Angus Young. Well, he uses a Gibson guitar. There you go, Gibson SG. Cool. Johnny gets a point. Eric, Tom DeLong, Fender. There you go, Fender Strat. Kyle, Joe Satriani. <laughs> His favorite. <laughs> Surfing with the alien problem. Yes. <laughs> Damn it, you ruined my, my chrome dome joke. <laughs> the chrome Sorry. domus. Uh, Satriani. Satchman. Satchmo. Satchmo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Eric almost had a spit take. <laughs> Damn it. Spitting coffee all over him. <laughs> um, I don't know. He has three. I'm going to say Ibanez. But... You got He has an Ibanez a guitar. <laughs> oh, really? Yep. yep. I was going to say that one PRS. Does he do PRS? Not to my knowledge. Oh, I'm glad I didn't have that guy then. <laughs> okay. Uh, Johnny. Yeah. Pete Thorne. Pete Thorne. That's the the video. That's the demo guy, right? Yeah. Session musician. Um, 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 <laughs> pedal train. <laughs> <laughs> it is sore. He has uh, amplifier and guitar. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't have got those that. Those are nice. Yeah. Eric, mm -hmm. another YouTuber, demo dude, Ryan Fluff Bruce. Ryan Fluff Bruce? He's got several. Uh, sinusoid. Nope. Yep. All right. He has Balaguer and he has a uh, fastback custom. He had uh, pickups and a uh, pedal. Jeebus. Uh, I, I don't know who that is. All right. That's okay. <laughs> Kyle, Annie Clark. Annie Clark? Oh, this I, one's for I, Kyle. I, I know this one. One of those Stromberg guitars, headless guitars. <laughs> music man. Music man. <laughs> yep, Ernie Ball, music man, Kyle. The St. Vincent. Her name is Amy I don't Clark. know her, her fake name. What's what's her real name? <laughs> That's her real name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Johnny, Derek Wibley. Sum 41. From Sum 41, huh? Dude, he is so little. Yeah. Um, that doesn't make you doesn't give you half a point or anything. By the way, no, he's make a half, third he's a half point. <laughs> you need to make up that third. Uh, I don't. You know, I, I don't really know. So I'm just gonna guess Fender. Squire never actually came up with a Fender. All right, Eric. Well, that's uh, Jim Root. That's like a technicality Slipknot, thing. Jim Root Maybe and you're still some other band too, I guess. Uh, Orange. Yes. Tell you mentioned it, asshole, earlier. <laughs> he also has some Fender signatures See, for quite a go. while, though. So, hey, no bonus points. No Damn bonus it! Points. You know what? you take one. <laughs> 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 All right, Kyle. Uh, ben Wyman. Ben it Wyman is fucking brilliant. Who's that? I'm dumb. I don't know who it is. So Dillinger Escape Plan. Oh, okay. Okay, so so no, yeah, it doesn't pass. help me. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it is an ESP. Is ESP with the Evertune. Aww. With the Evertune? That's why you had that Idiot. on your list. Idiot. Sandbagging with that Evertune over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We seem to be running a little bit longer, so I'm going to move it on to the round number six. It is called What the Fractal. So <laughs> Fractal in oh, line God. six, uh, you know, they try to be cute with the names of their effects and amps when they give uh, names, you know, to the emulations, just probably so they don't get sued. So they give a nudge and a wink. So I will give you a name of oh, Fractal. Main, 
Yeah. <laughs> a <laughs> fractal amplifier or pedal effect name. And then you got to give me what the real amp is or the pedal that it's mocking. Oh, nice. So these are pretty easy. Just look to their name and they... So, Johnny. <laughs> the bass guy. Meh. Oh, it's called the bass guy? It's called the bass guy. Oh, well, it's probably the bass man. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought basement. you were saying you're the bass guy. <laughs> you're the bass guy. I realized I'm like, like, oh, wait, no, like, that this was the is question. actually a question. <laughs> and I'm all like, it's <laughs> awkwardly <laughs> stare, John. All right. Mm. Eric, the Brit AFS 100. Brit AFS 100? Yep. Marshall? Yes. Uh, you got anything or do you want, Oh, you want me to actually It's a little bit it? more specific. Uh, I, will, I will still Ple- give you a point. Oh, Plexi 100? It is, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a third of a point. <laughs> oh, you're the because one that Johnny could have got. It, yeah, it is a right. Marshall yes. Appetite for Destruction slash head. Oh. Kyle. Hmm. Slash. This is slash. a. Oh, the Jubilees. Okay. Corn Fed. M50. What amplifier company is a corn fed? Uh, Milkman. Corn furred. Uh-huh. Johnny. I can see, see we thought that. Milk and corn, you know, go together. Dizzy <laughs> V4. Dizzy V4? Yes. Dizzy, Dizzy V4. V4. Fuck is Dizzy. Uh, I don't know. V4 is Ampeg, right? It is Am I a on the right track? Diesel V4. H4. Uh, oh, t- okay. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> Get out of here with these stupid questions. I don't care. Stupid <laughs> right. anyway. Give me another beer. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. You want one? <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. Eric, the hot kitty. <laughs> the bad cat. You got it. All right, Kyle. The SV bass. The SVT Classic? You got it. <laughs> Dang it. Boom. Now, Johnny, the Supremo Trem. The Supremo. That's not helping me. That <laughs> 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 it made it worse. The <laughs> you're just like, your, your, your face up. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any idea. The Supremo. The Su something or other. What's that one that I really like? Supro. There you go. Yeah, you, we use that all. We, I was going to say, we put that all over the Daily Birds last night. Yeah. Record. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant. All right, Eric. The Texas Star. This one's a little harder. Dumble. Nope. It is the Lone Star Mesa. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kyle. Bird. The Shiver. What amplifier is similar in the name of a Shiver? You're like, <laughs> Eric, you're not helping. Can, I, uh, is this, can we do 50-50 on this? <laughs> Phone a friend. <laughs> Phone a friend. <laughs> ask the audience. Hey, ask the I'm audience. I'm going to call Johnny on this one. <laughs> no, ask the audience. And ask Johnny's Eric. like, you call him, he's like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Regis. Um, uh, shiver. Um, me Timbers. Uh, Silvertone? No. That was my answer, I guess. It's a Wagner Shiva. Uh, oh, okay. I did know that one. Hmm. Okay. okay. You knew that yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. Eric knew that one. Negative points. Fuck you. Yeah. Right. I'm down to negative 16. <laughs> All right, Johnny, the Citrus RV50. Citrus RV50? Yes. I, don't, I have no idea. Dan Armstrong. Let's say ro- Orange Rocket Verb 50. Oh, yeah, Orange. <laughs> now, uh, Eric, Energy Ball. <laughs> Angle. You got it. Oh, my God. Dude, nerd ringer over here. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, the Band Commander. I am the band commander. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the music man. The band master. Band master. Fender oh, band master. That's Dang. a lame amp. Because I didn't get it. <laughs> Johnny, the Matchbox D30. Matchless. You got it. That's easy. Matchbox 20. Match- yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> got that answer in the real world. All right. Eric. Hmm? I don't know why they uh, did this one, but Legato 100. Carvin. You got legacy? it. Legacy, yeah. I did, Is it really? I really did not think you were going to get that. Yes, a Carvin <laughs> Legacy, the Steve I amp for some fucking reason. Wow. Kyle. That's San Diego natives there. Yeah, yep. they're yeah. Yeah, good enough for Fractal, I guess. Jazz 120. Roland. Roland JZ 120. I can't even hear you. I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> Jazz chorus. <laughs> 
Kyle, you get no points. Johnny, you get a third of a point. <laughs> what? Oh, he hasn't you're answered even again. Yet. I didn't say anything. He's not going to say it. Uh, he's not going to get it. Oh, mm. did I just get up to a full integer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? For asking questions. Knock no. him back down. Take, right. me, take me down 10 you points. You know what? We're going to take you 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> These are the last ones. Last ones, guys. The uh, Johnny, we have Solo 100. Solo 100. Solo 100. I'm going to say that is played by Harrison Ford. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Soldano SLO 100. Oh. Now, cool. Eric. Bummer. Yes, sir. USA Base 400. USA base 400. Uh, Mesa Boogie. Base. Ah, god damn it. Walkabout? No. Prodigy? No, it would be the How 400 plus. Your name? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It would be the Mesa Boogie 400 plus, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, you should get a point. You had that. Yeah, you had it. So Yay. you get a point. Those are great, by the way. Kyle. Yes, they are. Last one. The Two Stone J35. Two Stone. It's already half the name is already in mm-hmm. that. Some of the rock, so the two rock. Yeah, Kyle gets a point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Luckily, the, mi- the mic doesn't pick up miming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two rock. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Johnny, that's not. You're fucking. Yeah. You're like, that, you're does, fucking. that doesn't help I'm anybody. Like, yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? But I like what he's doing. All right, cool. So. This is the last round. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Goes out to that one dude <laughs> who uh, blew our ass up on iTunes. This is the Simpsons round. Oh. <laughs> All right. Simpsons oh. trivia. Oh. I'm out. Oh, okay. Is it early Simpsons or post, like, 99 Simpsons? Uh, post-hardcore post Simpsons? Only, uh, <laughs> it's only, like, up to post season eight. Simpsons, yeah. Or oh, season okay. 10 or whatever. Okay, I, I, cool. I, I haven't watched anything before that. Or after that. So, rather, let's get into it. Johnny, in season... S- uh, sevens episode two, Radioactive Man. Why didn't Bart get the role of Fallout Boy in the Radioactive Man movie? Oh fuck! I have no idea. Let's, let's we'll pass it around. Yeah. He blew the wrong producer. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. Kyle has no idea because it's a cartoon and no one gives a shit. Wrong. <laughs> he what? was too short. He was an inch too short. Oh, man. <laughs> no, Dude, that's I like... I don't know. like cold and blunt. I liked it. <laughs> that's my new <laughs> shit right there. Yeah, yeah, You're like so physical. Nothing matters, cool matters anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you got points for nihilism on here. That's rad. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's Johnny that's Bun- really, you know, <laughs> that's diving deep. Uh, bonus point. I'll grab you one. Who got the role of Fall Out Boy in that episode? Millhouse. Get a point. All right, Eric. <laughs> in season three's episode one, Stark Raving Dad, Homer goes to a mental institution and meets Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Why was Homer sent to the mental institution in the first place? Shit. Went on a drunk rampage. Kyle? It's always it's all it's always his kids driving <laughs> crazy. Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually remember. I do, I can sing you the song though. I won't, but I can. Yeah, uh, Johnny, you get uh, half a point for for offering, be, be, for offering to sing. And Kyle, you get. <laughs> do we get full points for listening to him? Kyle, sing? you get you get half a point because you were kind of close. He uh, goes because he is wearing a pink shirt to work. Now. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's okay. right. Yeah, this is right. the, this, right. this is the bonus <laughs> point. It kind of goes with that. Kind of goes with the answer to that question. It's Why because was, Bart put a red sock in the washing machine. You know, everybody gets a point. Johnny, yep. you blew it. <laughs> I, you didn't even finish answering, asking nope. the question. <laughs> yep, because Bart put his lucky red hat in there with Homer's, oh, Homer's, hat. Right. Homer's white shirts. All right, yep. Kyle. Oh, this one's... Yeah, you're not going to get this. Okay. Uh, what Sorry. brand of soup does Mrs. Krabappel eat in season three? Season three's episode number 16, Bart the Lover? Gosh. Chowder. Johnny. Chowda, I do, what brand? You just said that yep. right now. No, I was repeating you. I was aping you. What was... <laughs> it's Chowda. Bra- no, brand? I'll tell you. What brand of soup does she eat? Oh, brand. I, I don't I know. Campbell's. Can't be Campbell's because uh, they don't have a sponsorship. Damn. You got it. It's like a small thing that you notice. It's probably something crazy crusty, cat. Something. No, damn, no. I was going to say something like crazy cat, lonely, it- single crazy cat lady soup or some shit like that. <laughs> Chef Lonely Heart. Chef Lonely Heart. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Now, Man, you're diving deep. Now, yeah. Kyle, 
Uh, I guess this will probably go to everybody. A bonus question. What was the name of Bar- Bart's alter ego he uses to respond to Mrs. Krabappel's personal ad? What was the name of the character he made up? Uh, it was a hockey player, wasn't it? I, I'm not gonna know. It's Gretzky okay. or something. No, it was uh, <laughs> it was the the Bruins player, right? The it w- wasn't it uh, like Brett Hall? Uh, no, it was. Uh, Need a name. Mario uh, Lemieux. No, 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 no. Give me a name. Oh man, I can't remember. But it was a hockey player. It was a hockey player, dude. You got to give me a point for being a hockey player. <laughs> you can't beg him for. You're a point. bullying me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm gonna take away that half a point. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's Woodrow Wilson. Oh, oh it was a president. A <laughs> but so. it was a picture of a hockey player. Yeah, but that wasn't his name that he used. He used the okay. <laughs> Jesus, dude, right. I was a little Man. kid. This is uh, Johnny. What was the band that Bart saw in concert that inspired him to play the guitar? Aerosmith. Eric. Sonic Youth. <laughs> Kyle. Striper. Spinal Tap was the band. Oh, oh that's it. right. Gosh. <laughs> right. I was the closest. All right. Yeah. Eric. Point, Eric. point for Kyle. Yeah. Eric. Point for Kyle. Just his star with an S. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the burlesque house that Bark, Bart works at in season eight's fifth episode of Bart After Dark? Huh. Um, Springfield Burlesque Hut. <laughs> Kyle. Something stupid. You're so, you're so <laughs> defeated already. Johnny. The stink finger. <laughs> Maison Derriere. This is the last question oh, to Kyle. Man. Uh, what is Mr. Burns' name? No matter what the question, just flip the table and walk out. Yeah. yeah. Last. Shut the lights off, lock the doors. Fuck your question. <laughs> <sighs> Charles. I don't know. First name? Charles Lindbergh. <laughs> Actually, okay. that is really close because Lindbergh was a contemporary of the dude who actually has the same first name. So you can stick with Charles or what, what else you got, Kyle? Charles Barkley. What's Charles. a what's another local San Diego aviator? Uh I, I don't know. Uh, Kyle actually wins that one. <laughs> yeah. I, it is Charles Montgomery Burns, but as Homer says, I don't know. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus. See, you Montgomery got that point, Burns. Kyle. You Charles swung Montgomery that out. Burns. All right. You got like half of you each know answer. What? I am pretty smart. You know, I'm pretty smart on that one. All right. So that is the <laughs> end. I'm smart. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm not like the other guys. I'm smart. Listen to me. I'm smart. I'm smart. <laughs> not like everybody says. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all of the quiz. So I will oh add up the points here. Don't add up the points. Eric wins. You should <laughs> said another airfield in San Diego. <laughs> oh, Brown yeah, field? I could have said that. <laughs> I would have said yeah. Charles, Charles Brown. Brown. Gillespie Montgomery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Char- what did you say? Charles West Montgomery? <laughs> Gillespie. Gillespie. Like Gillespie, Gillespie field, yeah. so all the airfields are All right, Palomar. so <laughs> yeah. uh, coming in uh, third place, respectable third place with 13 points. Mr. Johnny Ray. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, you know, I called this months ago that I would lose. <laughs> Coming in a second place with 14 and a half points. Drum roll. <laughs> Kyle McIntyre. And Woo! taking the lead, Eric, with 17 points and one third. Repeating. <laughs> 17.33 Christ. repeating. We knew he would win. <laughs> yeah, we That's, called it. So I yeah. thought that was pretty fun. Um, we might do that again, but it was a pain in the ass to write, so it's not going to be soon. Yeah, but, yeah, those were hard questions. Yeah, so those maybe, were hard maybe questions. We'll do, maybe we'll do uh, easier ones next time. I just thought, like, oh, these will be good ones. And, you know. They were. So fail. If, Post fail. <laughs> if you guys, <laughs> listeners, if you like that, let us know. If you really don't like it and you think, like, that's a rip off of Guitar Nerds, you are correct. <laughs> but let's. And get, also go fuck yourself. Also yeah. go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thirdly, go fuck yourself. Come right. sit in with us next time. Yeah, we will uh, be heading out of here. But before we go, I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in. And if you guys like what you hear, you guys can uh, join along on Instagram at the Tone Jerks, or you guys can join in on the Facebook fun. We are on the group, The Tone Jerks. Just search us. You'll find us. Uh, Eric's there. Johnny's there. They're posting cool-ass shit. Uh, and then if you guys really, really like what you hear, you guys can help support the show financially by becoming a patron 
on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. But if you guys double down for $2 a month, you guys get an extra episode. And I think we're going to record one. It's going to be going to be a doozy. No quiz this for the for the, <laughs> the oh, Patreon. Thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Let my hair down. <laughs> But uh, we just want to give a shout out to everybody who's been supporting us. Kyle, you got a list? Yeah, going? I got a list right here. Give it to me, baby. All right. We have uh, Co and Paul from the Flippin' Flippers. We have Abe Newman, Michael Newman, Andrew Walsh, Will Lehew, Bruce Bananana. We have Doug, 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 Jamie. Oh, wait, no. Chris, <laughs> Gan, and King. Uh, <laughs> Jamie Davis, Jason Fuzzmonger, Adam Rohr, Jim Bowers, Johnny... Reynolds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. jo- Jonathan Reynolds? Yeah. No, it's not, it's not even Jonathan. No, that's not even his real name. It's a spy name. Uh, <laughs> Joseph from Like My Petals. Uh, Leon Wright from Pelican Noiseworks. Digger from Fatfoot Effects. Sean Arbo. Steve Mike. Kevin Quit, And Sean Fahey. All right. Thank you, yeah, guys. We are going to get out of here. Was there a new one on there? Yes. Steve Mike? Yeah, Never and, heard that name before. Sean Fahey are the newest ones. Woo-hoo. Yeah, yeah. Steve Mike, Kevin, he quits, and Sean Fahey. I think they all nice. joined this month, so yeah. that's cool. Joining Thanks, us guys. on the Patreon. We will see you next time. We love you. All right, bye. Thanks, guys. All right, bye.